Um, so you just went to Puerto Rico after the hurricane. Do you want to talk a little bit about how that was and how it is to have your family there and, um, you know, what health concerns and health care issues you see now with this disaster? Yeah. Um, that was, that was the, one of the, you know, that's the, the one thing that scared people the most. Um, that's the, the first thing you, you want to have, health, right? Yeah. So for us that were young, that we don't think about that as much right now, but it's something that we should, that, that you know, it, it, it gave me perspective. Um, like, oh, what about older people? Or thinking about, for instance, my aunt, my aunt, aunt here in Washington, um, she had cancer, and through complications now she has to dialyze every night, and that's a machine that's connected to the power grid. Mm -hmm. So if that were to happen in mm -hmm. Puerto Rico, right. and you need to dialyze every night to live, and you don't have any power, what what do those people do? So I don't so I don't know like what those people are doing. I'm guessing generators which run with um with gasoline. Mm -hmm. And that's why um at the beginning ga getting gasoline was crazy. People would go on 8 hour long lines mm -hmm. to get some gasoline. And mm -hmm. 